All right, everybody, we are here for day out with Thomas and come on and join us as we go around. Here's the map of the day. Now this has stayed pretty consistent over the years. We're gonna make sure to take you around to everywhere and try to keep everything nice and succinctly sorted for you. So let's start off with the Thomas stuff. Now this petting zoo here is one of the few additional costs to coming here. So it is not included in the ticket, but for those kids that do wanna play with animals, they have that. Now we're going to move into the play pod where kids can play with uh, Thomas train games, sets, uh, new toys they might not have tried, and yeah, we're normally able to kill a good solid hour of time in this tent. Right outside the tent they have the tattoo station for the kids and quite a few volunteers that help out with that there is also this wonderful gentleman he is in charge of making free balloon animals for the kids just have to wait in line for your turn and pick from one of those free options that he has there two or three twists otherwise they're more prone to uh to untwist also ability to take photos with inflatable Thomas friends. Um, these have changed over the year and they are spread out over the park. Uh, the kids area also has bounce houses, two different sizes depending on your kid's age, a fun bubble tent, as well as games uh, spread out across like cornhole and even like some little badminton stuff. Also throughout the day, they have bands playing at this entertainment stage. This little hay maze is another way to let the kids run around, get out some energy, and as you can see, not too high, so really easy to see where they're at and not lose them. We are now waiting here for Sir Topham Hat. And here comes the big man himself to take pictures and do some story time. Now we're going to show you around a bit of the museum. First off, we are going to focus on the miniatures. So let's come on in and take a look at some trains rolling around. Yeah. We'll get there. How you doing, sir? 
Good, how are you guys today? Now the building we are in that I just showed you the front of, this one houses the old Los Angeles railway cars that you can see back there. So once we get done taking a look at these miniatures in here, gonna show you around those old classic railway cars and then head over to Grizzly Flats for some more. Now, some of you may recognize that guy going around the tracks. That is the original Casey Jr. drawing. Now, 
This Grizzly Flats, as will be explained later, is dedicated to one of the Disney great legends, Mr. Ward Kimball. Lassiter from Pixar came and picked her up. It's going to take over 500000 to fix it. He has Ollie Johnson's engine. He's actually pulling Chloe around. There she is in her own step. And then he popped her back on the truck and brought her back here. Ah. So this is not Lord Kimball's first engine. His wife, Betty, gave him Coach 5, the yellow coach there. For their first year anniversary present. And then she said, if you need something to pull it on the 500 feet of track they had in their backyard called Grizzly Flats, you're in Grizzly Flats. This shows it in Hawaii. That's its Hawaiian name. That shows Ward working on the engine. And here it is right there. And here it is as a G gauge. So this engine is like Thomas the Tank Engine. When Ward got it, he took the saddle tank, the water here, and put it in a tender in the back. When this was in Hawaii, there were two sand domes because there was so much sugar cane on the track to get the wheels to generate energy. They used quite a bit of sand. So when he got it, he got near the first sand dome, and there it is. With All right, time to take a ride on an old LA trolley car. The trolley ride was not too much fun, but got to show you around, so if you want to go on that, you can, but get in a little peckish, so I'm going to show you all these food stands that they have around here, including, as you saw, those handmade sodas and some fun stuff over here, so I'm going to show you around.
So other than those snack pop-ups that you saw before, this is their, you know, food truck, food alley, where you can come take a break, grab a bite to eat. They have a few different options from Mexican, barbecue, uh, desserts. And once you have your food, you just come sit down at the tent. Thank you. Last but not least, the gift shop for souvenirs. Now, heads up, there are two different gift shops here. This one, the tent that we are in, is all focused on Thomas, as you can tell. You got shirts specific to writing on Thomas for the day, all these wonderful toys with even some samples as you saw. And You'll see a little more in a second as we walk around. But there is a, another 
gift shop as well for train enthusiasts in general. That's part of the railway museum. So give us a moment to get through here and we will show you the rest. And here's the other gift shop. Now this one is just right across the way from the meet and greet and storytelling area with Sir Topham Hat. But wanted to show you this as well as they have, again, for those of your, of your family that are train enthusiasts, a lot of other selections here outside of just the Thomas stuff for them. All right, that'll do it for our day out here with Thomas. I hope you all enjoyed the video, the shorts, uh, everything that's coming. And yeah, if you ever have a chance to get out to this, if your kids love Thomas, maybe you yourself love Thomas, it is a wonderful experience. Uh, train ride uh, can do necessarily without, but all the other stuff definitely worth, you know, a good, uh, solid day here so uh, feel free to let us know if you have any questions uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you all later take care